Hi everyone, it's Begmus here with another SolidWorks 2014 uh, tutorial. Today we're going to be doing the weldments tutorial. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, weldments are pretty much a quick and simple way to create certain structures like rails, uh, I beams, square tubing, whatever. So um, just go ahead and not read these out loud. If you guys want me to read them out loud, leave some in the comments. So we're going to go ahead and click here to open that. Much nicer than just going through all of this prep. Right, we're going to go ahead and hit Control S and save it. This document is read only when opened. Okay, well, since we're not too worried about that, let's go to desktop. Let's call this weldment box. Yeah, part. That's fine. All right. So that's saved. It says we're gonna open the weldments. Well, luckily, SolidWorks has this fancy this command search. All you have to do, drop it down. SolidWorks help oh, knowledge base community forum commands and files mod. So we're doing commands. We're going to just type. Weldments. Click that, and here it is. Weldments. Let's put that right there for now. Okay. An instructional member. Uh, we're going to click this, and as usual, it's highlighted right here. Okay. Um, so we're going to click that instructional member. Got it. Let's close this for now. Select ISO standard. Got it. Square tube. Also there. And we're going to set 30 by 30 by 2.6. Right there. Okay. And select each of the path segments to create the first thing. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Go ahead and just. Yeah, let's not check that. Under settings. Says do an end miter. That's already selected. Cool. It teaches this, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Okay. Do we add more groups? Okay. So it says group one's two bodies intersect with the corner. So step one is click new group. That's the button right there. Uh, select each path to create a second group. Uh, group one contains continuous, continuous, that looks like continuous, but whatever, end to end segments. Group two contains parallel segments. So, one, two, three, and four. Okay. And that's it. So, step three graphics area, create, right click, new group. Like the edge. Okay, so we have a new group. Now something about SolidWorks is it likes to be clockwise. So nine o'clock, twelve o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock. So we have to do that. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four. Okay, one second, guys. I'm gonna pause it. Okay, I'm going to do the result should be an end butt joint. Just right here. So I'm click that. Okay, and complete the group. Alright, move the, 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 uh, the top group. Okay, that's this area here. Okay, when the pointer changes to a hand, so mouse arrow, hand, pointer thing. Okay. And group two, set trim order to two. Group one of two, one of two, okay. Trim order to two. Cool, we got that. 
and okay, I think that makes sense. If this doesn't work, we can try again next week. Click. Work with group two, okay. Let's hit trim order to one. And click end butt joint two. Okay. And hit check to apply the new treatment. Okay. And repeat step two three eight to send the condition for the bottom left corner. Okay, so pretty much we gotta just do what we did here. Again, so pointer thing for group one of two. Let's verify that. So the trim order to two. Check. Okay, and then I'm going to go to two. Trim order to one. And butt joint thing. Get a butt joint. That's an end butt joint. Yep. And hit check. And okay, completing the rest of the groups. Okay, the product manager, this is this, hit check, this should be all of that. So right now, let's we'll go ahead and zoom out, or you can hit F to zoom it fully, and we've got a box. Now this is made out of 30 by 30 by 2.6, I think it's all in millimeters, so it's, um, well, not in inches, I'll edit that part, obviously, guys. Alright, let's go ahead and change the view to stop that. Try metric. Okay. Alright. Expand the flyout feature manager design tree, which is somewhere here. Oh, this is it. Okay. Cutlass 12 is added. I feel like I missed a step somewhere here. There it is. Here it is. Gotta love it when you get confused. Alright. When the first weldment feature is inserted in a part cutlass, it appears in the feature manager, which is here. When you create entities in the cutlass folder, the icon uh, that indicates cutlass needs to be updated. I do not see any such icons, I think we're okay. Alright, 3, expand cutlass 12. That's that. To see where it is. That should be here. So, okay, I guess mine's filed under 11 for some reason. Which means I might have done something stupid. But that's fine. Adding the cross member. Okay, I'm sections. Select the ISO standard. So I lost weld link, so just going to just hit that again. Cool, here's our weld links again. Nope. Right there. That's your standard. Weld thing of the tube. So, structural member. Check. ISO square tube. And this says 50 by 30 by 2.6. Do we have that? Why don't I see that? Oh, that's because I did not do rectangular. And there it is, 50 by 30 by 2.6. And we're going to click that one. Cool. All right, it says, because the segment has a rectangular profile, you need to click check the orientation of the structural member. Click the right standard view on the toolbar and zoom into the end of the segment. So, here's that. Front, top, right. Okay. Now we can already see here that it's bigger than my own tubes. So, under settings, set the rotation angle to 90 degrees. New profile. Let's change that to 90. 
and hit enter, and then now it is lined up nice and parallel. And just go ahead and check, and we've got part of the box. All right. So if this isn't making much sense to you guys, you can uh, take a quick break, uh, go back, or you know, tell me to slow down next time. So the next topic: trimming the structural members. I'll click the trim and extend in the weldments toolbar. Okay. And once again, you guys can just hit that thing, trim extend. I don't know why weldments is up here. That's fine. You can also just do it right here. We'll just go ahead and exit this out. I don't know why I brought it back. We'll just go ahead and do that. Alright, the property manager was going to pin that. Now it's pinned, which means we can use it more than once. Corner type, click end trim. And butt. And miter. Are they done? Awesome. Okay, in the graphics area, select the rectangular tube for bodies to be trimmed. And that's body to be trimmed. Structure number two appears in the bodies list. Okay. Defining the trimming boundary. On the trimming boundary, boundary select face slash plane and click in face bodies. Okay, so bodies here. Oh, why did that not work? Delete. There we go. Now, you can see this is different. So this extends past it. Click this face, and now that's pretty much fused right there together. Okay. And same thing, we'll click this whole thing, and the body's to be trimmed here. And from right, that should make it nice and smooth. Okay. And does that look like that? Well, let's find out. Oop, too sharp. Apologize, folks. Still a bit finicky. I think these look about similar. So, trimming additional segments. Zoom into the upper left corner. Okay. Here we have this. Okay, trim boundary. Okay. Bodies to be trimmed on the whole horizontal tubes. One and two. Okay, under trim battery, select the face plane and click the face bodies. Okay, let's see if we can get that one right. I love this thing sometimes. Click and click. And now they are flushed to that corner. So, let's check. Awesome. And now I want to click this and extend it to here. And now that should be flush. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other corner. Which shouldn't be the same. So, once again, bodies, faces. One and two. Okay. So I'll move that from here to here. And then I'm going to do this. And that. And now it is flush. Okay. And we'll go ahead and close the property manager. We'll go ahead and hit trimetric again. Alright. Adding end caps, guys. So this solid work said this should take about an hour. Uh, I think we met this for, let's see. I have no idea. 14 minutes so far. So let's actually speed this up. Alright, click end cap. Where's the end cap? Boom, right there. The prod manager, I'm going to just pin that again. And other parameters, select the two upper faces, black corner, fair, okay. Thickness, I'm going to do this inward. Okay. Thickness to three. Millimeters. 
and and the offset 0.5, which is on there. So now I want to add some in caps. Okay. There's your one in cap. Okay. I'm going to do that to the four places. So that's end cap one, end cap two. And cap three and end cap four. Well, all right, guys. Since this tutorial is taking just a little bit longer than I thought it would, we're gonna go ahead and just stop right here. Uh, we'll mark this down as part one, and I'll either upload today the part two or just wait till next week. So. Uh, comments, questions, send them into the comment section. If you like my videos, please hit subscribe. It only takes like half a second. And we'll see you guys next week.